Hey, what is going on, everybody? Depray Slasher, and we are back with another rap battle reaction. I'm Depray Slasher. I'm Hellcat. And together we are... Hella Depraved. And well, I'm actually kind of excited to check this. So, for those of you that don't follow my typical rap battle formula, I kind of jump around from channel to channel, first off, that does rap battles. Um, if somebody drops something new that I'm sub to, and it's a rap battle thing, fantasy rap battle thing, uh, it's usually the one I'm on. Um, haven't had one of those in a little bit. Um... Now, as far as ERB goes, when I do my ERBs, I kind of alternate. So what I do is I do the next one in season one, which is where I'm, I still haven't finished fully season one yet. Um, I do the next one in season one, and then the next video I go by most requested of out of the last couple of videos. Now, nobody requested anything on the um, Napoleon, Napoleon versus. versus Napoleon, which was the one that I had personally it was the next one in season one that I was covering. The last one that you covered as well. Yeah. Um, the one before that, which was the last fan request one, was Ninja Turtles versus the artists. Or artists versus Ninja Turtles. Um, and so I had to go back to that video to find one that was requested. And this was the only one requested on that video. Guys, remember, it, it definitely, if, if you want to see me cover one of the specific ERBs, be sure to hit up the when I do the next one line on the season opener or for season one, which I don't remember what the next one is right offhand. <laughs> um, but request there will be the next one cover. Um, if not, I go back a little further to try and find what the last one requested was. Uh, so, and the reason I actually do that is so that we can still cover some of the bad ones that aren't as highly popular. So it's not like we just get all the banging shit out the way first and then we're just kind of left with what's left out of what people like or don't like. Because um, my goal is to eventually cover all of ERB stuff. Um, which we're making pretty good headway. Mm -hmm. um, we're also almost done with Princess Rap Battles. I think we've only got like three or four more of those left. Right. Yeah. Um, but tons of other channels. Dear God, tons of other tons. channels. <laughs> uh, but with that being said, this is James Bond versus Austin Powers. Um, now, I have heard this before. Four, but it was a very long time ago. I'm saying probably two years ago. I don't remember much, if anything at all. Right. Um, I don't know how often you've seen it or if you have I've seen, seen it. I've seen a lot of the epic rap battles of history. Um, but this one would have been years ago that I saw it. Now, something I do like to do when I remember to do it, um, I like to try and make educated guesses on some of the diss lines not like actual word for word but things that will be touched on mm -hmm. i definitely think against james bond i think we will get manho jokes because he's always banging the damsels that were in distress right in the movies and i definitely so think powers. well i definitely think we're also going to get jokes about how often he gets caught Okay, yeah, all right. On the flip side, I can also see Austin Powers getting dissed on being a man-ho. Right, <laughs> right. Um, and also, his bad teeth. I, w I was going to say not necessarily just Dental hygiene. the bad teeth, but like... Hygiene in general, really. Yeah, yeah. Um... There are also going to be... Because, I mean, he is a parody of Bond. Right. But, like... Now, at the same time, there also might be a joke about how Austin Powers has only been played by one character. Whereas mm. Bond has been played by, what, like, five now? Something like that, yeah. Um, Pierce Brosnan is still being my favorite, personally. Yeah, I'd have to agree, except for my favorite Bond movie is uh, damn it, the one with Solitaire in it, as the damsel. I, I forget it, but it's a Sean Connery. So, um, Now, why I, the, the reason I think Pierce Brosnan is my favorite, I think they've all done a good job, don't get me wrong. Um, but I think, well, first off, Sean Connery's a little before my time in terms mm -hmm. of what I grew up watching. Um, Sean Connery is the one that my dad introduced me to Bond on, so... Yeah, my dad didn't like Bond. 
It was kind of something I stumbled on myself. Oh, okay. My dad did. Um, but after watching several movies involving all of them, um, I definitely think Pierce Brosnan has the best balance of suave with... Badass. Badass. I agree. That's, that's why. Because I think the others, it's either... Like, Sean Connery's way more suave than badass, mm -hmm. whereas, like, Daniel Craig is way more badass than suave. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> um, right? But I just think Pierce Brosnan is the best balance of all of it. Kind of like why I like... Uh, what's his face? is Tom Holland's Spider-Man okay. overall, because he's more better balance of them instead of being way more better one than the other. Um, but no. So I'm super stoked to check this out. This is... Austin, not Austin Powers, this is James Bond versus Austin Powers. Epic rap battles in history. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to slash it up and break it down. Um, so without further ado, let's go, baby. James Bond! Definitely the Daniel, Daniel Craig Daniel look. Daniel Craig, yep. Definitely yeah. the Daniel Craig look. Austin Powers! Oh, he did a good job. That oh, he looks so job. much like Mike Myers. Ah. That's 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 good. I'm beef with a sheep and no and blow fell with a cheek scar. But they were not as crooked and rotten as your teeth are. Already off the bat. Right. Already right. off the bat with the dental hygiene comments. Mm. One point. Yeah. <laughs> I mean we knew it was gonna happen. It's it's just I don't get and the no and blowfield thing. They're both villains that the Daniel Craig character. No. Yeah. Doctor No. Yeah, and Blowfield is, uh, he had the really bad cheek scar. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, it says cheek, but he had it. Yeah. No, and Blow fell with a cheek scar, but they were not as crooked and rotten as your teeth are. I'll go balls to the wall for on this whack twat in an ascot. Blast shots at you like ass from the back slot of the fat scot. <laughs> okay, so here's going to be my problem. You ready? Hmm. There's going to be a lot of English terminology in this that I just don't fucking understand. Okay. I'm not British. You didn't catch twat? Well, I caught twat. <laughs> um, but go balls to the wall there. What the fuck is a wall there? I'll go balls to the wall, but wall there is I know what wall another is. character. Oh, That's wall why there. it's cap capitalized, yeah. Oh. Also on this whack twat. And an ascot. What's an ascot? An ascot like this is, is from, the, okay. Yeah, yeah it's the little the outfit. No, it's the little bow tie. Oh, is it the bow tie? Yeah, okay. the little scarf. In an ascot. Blast shots at you like ass from the back slot of the fat scot. Permission from the crown to put a scoundrel down. I've earned it. I'm licensed to kill. You couldn't get a learner's permit. I like that license to kill, which is another Bond movie. Well, and it's also, yeah, he's got a license to kill. But Austin Powers couldn't get a learner's permit. <laughs> it's a good bar. It's mm -hmm. a good bar. Crown to put a scoundrel down. I've earned it. Like I like the permission from the crown because he does work for the British agency. He does. He does. I see you. You could have lost the powers, though, don't he? Yeah. It's just not M16. Or is it M16? What do they call it? Yeah. Well, M16, I think, is, is Bond, but I'm I'm not sure. I can't. I watched Austin Powers a lot, but that was in like high school. I watched the first one a lot. That's one of those series that got worse as the series went on. Right, because the I've jokes seen just got all tired. Three, like a lot. Um, I think I've only seen the last one once, because there's oh. three of them. Yeah, I know. Um, I watched the last one once. I watched the second one a few times. I watched the first one a lot though. I just, again, it's just been so long since I've seen any of them. I have the first one somewhere. Honestly, there. I think I've seen Gold, Goldfinger or what was it? Although I still like to say smoking a pancake. Bong, Bong in a place. Get a learner's permit. After 24 films, I'm still reaching new heights. Your third movie died. Guess you only lived twice. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! I say, and that, that's where I can you only agree. Lived twice is another, yeah. Because the third movie was kind of a bomb for me right. in the series. Mm -hmm. And You Only Live Twice is another Bond flick. Yep. So it's a good tie in the words there. I like that. <laughs> Films, I'm still reaching new heights. Your third movie died. Guess you only lived twice. Spell my name. The ladies want to be on D. Any sex appeal you might have is... Bond. It's spelled B-O-N-D. B on D. D. Mm-hmm. That, that was good. That, that was, was extremely good. That was a bar. 
That is actually in reference to the video game GoldenEye on the N64. Okay. Um, in the video game Gold for GoldenEye 64, the golden gun was a one-shot kill regardless of where you shot them. Okay. Um, so, like, you could shoot them in the toe and it was an instant kill. So I only need one round golden gun. So, mm. Okay. It's a poisonous shot if it's the big toe. All right. That's that, that was a bar, and I love the reference. And again, I'm loving the imagery they're using too, very right. Bond like. And uh, which is funny, I'm gonna have to play a game for you sometime on my PlayStation VR. It's called I Expect You to Die, and you're basically playing as a 007 eight or a, an agent in right. Spy, basically. Um, and you're trying not to die because you're stuck in some shitty situation. It's it's an amazing game. All right, I'm down. <clears throat> You look a lot more blonde in your movie, baby. That's all right. Let's just keep it groovy, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Exposition told me this will be boring. But Jesus, man, even my mojo's snoring. <laughs> <laughs> but Jesus, man. <laughs> He's definitely got the mannerisms down. Mannerisms down of And the awesome inflection and the voice. Yeah, he's... He's nailing this. Yeah. I've never seen such a miserable spy. I've also never seen a man with glistening thighs. I mean, you can't. <laughs> I think that's in reference to honestly how hairy Austin Powers is. Mm. So his he's used to hair everywhere. Right. And well, they also this man apparently shaves. Also, always make sure that Bond shots like in his swim trunks and everything. He's he's still wet. Right. Yeah. Such a miserable spy. I've also never seen a man with glistening thighs. I mean, you can't check properly with that wax curse. First lock to the mask of my chest first. Yeah, I can <laughs> you with a little strip tease in the judo chop. I'm swinging on you like a sissy. <laughs> the judo chop line's funny. Again, that's like Austin Powers' signature move. He judo, mm -hmm. and he always says it when he does it. He does. Judo chop. He announces it. And he's swinging on you like the 60s. The swing, his whole swing bad. Right. You know, he's he's referencing a lot of stuff from the movies, like even his mojo snoring, like he lost his mojo. And, right. Yeah. With a little strip tease in the judo shop, I'm swinging. Can I also say, I also really, before I get back into this, I really enjoyed the beat change. Mm-hmm. It, it, it was a really good beat change to signify the how who's rapping right they the don't do that a whole, more a whole lot very often no they, they sometimes they, they do and then like this it worked really well right he just dissed himself <laughs> that's where he's gonna end up winning this for me because in rap battles one of the best things you could do is make fun of yourself because it takes... So that they can't... They can't pull right. it out on you. So, funny as hell, though. <laughs> yeah! People want a hero with a little personality. No one wants to sit through your gritty reality. Maybe Q can grab some new plot lines. You Thunderbolt too bloody time. Ha 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 ha. All right. All right. Bond can come back with his movies being very similar. From movie to movie, too, though. So, well, let's see if he that does that. That is true. That is true. I'm one of a cop. Sharks. Freaking laser beams. Laser beams. You can grab some new plot lines. You Thunderbolt to bloody time. I'm one of a kind. You're always getting remade. You can't touch me. Double O B. And I called that. Double O B. Have. Right. Well, I, I, I called the. Been remade so many times. Right. That's referencing the actress. He's only been the only. Oh, Austin I just Paris. enjoy that line. Um, but I also, yeah. The he says, o oh, behave. behave a lot, and then oh, it's 007. Yeah. Yep. Fucking great, dude. Comedy wise, I think Austin Powers has taken this so far. Bar wise, 
I think Bond has a slight edge. Well, yeah. Um, we'll see how this continues out. They've both got at least one more verse, I think. Hopefully. I can't believe I'm wasting my time with this clown. I should be on an island with a fucking model by now. Sipping dry martinis and peeling off bikinis. Not rapping against Swedish penis pumping weenies. <laughs> the Swedish penis pump. <laughs> Bar! That was great. Oh, <laughs> shit. And he has no clue how he should react to that. You see that face? Yeah. Oof, that was a burn. I didn't say I was finished. I'm sick of your silly gimmicks. I'm the best spy in the business. Just ask all the critics. And I've been through hell, so yeah, I'm a bit of a cynic. But I'm the original model that your free ass mimics. Like I said, parody. Yep. yep. All right. All right. He's coming with some heat. He looks irritated. Well, he was tapping his watch during the, the verse, yeah. I wouldn't exactly call you original. Ah, yes. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> oh, hell no. He had to take a walk. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> no so now great. this is no longer even oh, but just Austin great. Powers versus Bond as a character. Well, it is still Bond as a character. It's this just... is now the Bonds are about to go at it. I hope. That would be dope. Where's my Pierce Brosnan at? I'm just saying. Okay. It's the most prominent dominant. <laughs> and of course, he comes in right after. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I wouldn't exactly call you original. Okay. It's the most prominent dominant bomb spy shall pay homage, handing out ass whippings. I'm on some real James Bond. Your performance uh -huh. doesn't stir me, and I'm certainly not shaken. What a shitty acting in my action film. I'd go and watch Take a Nice Young Mother. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, it's still Sean Connery. He came it in is. looking yeah. like the Pierce Brosnan one for a second. But no, oh, he's still here. Yeah. Okay, um, that was a bar though. Now that the fucking bonds are going at it, come on, man. I'm liking this. This is one well, of those moments where somebody coming in actually works. Actually instead works instead of disturbing the instead of disturbing yeah. the flow. Certainly not shaking. What a shitty acting in my action film. I'd go and watch Take a Nice Your Modern Gadgets and I piss on them all. I don't need a cue to break your ball. I the <laughs> of the brand millions of fans have been sold on. Just so far up on my nuts, I should call you Bond. Gold Bond. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Oh, hell That's no. great. That was great. Oh, that was, that was okay. That was Sean's a bar. It. Now he's about to come in and judo chop fucking... Millions of fans have been sold on. You're so far up on my nuts, I should call you Bond. Gold Bond. Yeah, um, could I get back in my rap, please? Rap these, you velvety hat. Please. It's the movie business, and you've had your six. The world has had quite enough rug wearing misogynists. Yeah, to be honest, you are a bit rapey. I mean, I like to swing, but Dr. No means no, baby. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But Doctor No means baby. Oh, oh shit! So they're actually going after him for Sean Connery traits versus the actual Bond. Bond. Traits. Yeah. Which, again, kind of works with this, and I feel like that might even be one of the best lines in the song where he says, "Doctor No still means because if you guys remember, Austin Powers was never the type to force any woman into anything. No. no. He was a very gentleman esque, and he didn't necessarily try to pressure him into it either. Right. He was just a fucking goofball. Right. Horny ass goofball, but yeah. <laughs> oh man, that was a bar. Doctor No again being a, bond. a villain. Bond, a bond yeah. villain. Honest, you are a bit rapey. I mean, I like <laughs> to swing, but Doctor No means no thing. Oh please, I'm an extraordinary gentleman, undistinguished. That was a bar within itself. Right. He was on the movie Extraordinary, extraordinary Gentleman. gentleman. But Doctor No means no thing. Oh, please, I'm an extraordinary gentleman. Undistinguished. If they made him any me, they'd have to cast Peter Dinklage. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> and cast a bond who's actually English. Nice. Why, pussy, aren't you the cunning linguist? Oh! <laughs> oh shit. Pussy galore, one of the Bond chicks. Mm -hmm. Villains, though. Wasn't she a villain? She's, yeah. Um, that, was that, that was that reference, but he's also calling him a pussy. And then cunning linguist is a play on words for cunning linguist, which is eating pussy. Yes. Yes, it that is. That was a fucking... Dude, this is turning to all out fucking hell, and I'm loving every minute of it. I liked him in Lee. Extraordinary Gentleman, though. Did you? Yeah. I, I love it. that comic book. 
See, I never actually seen it. Okay, I, I, the comic books are amazing. On who's actually English? Why, pussy? Aren't you the cunning linguist? As a matter of fact, I've got a knack for licking old cunts. After I beat you, I'll kick the shit out of the man who does your stunts. Now Ooh. you listen here, you little duck face. You sometimes. <laughs> On one hand, I am disappointed because my favorite Bond did not show up for the battle. I understand why, because the only reason Sean Connery's Bond showed up was he's the original. To pretty much tell the original that he's a copy of him after right. saying that. Austin Powers was. Um, with that being said, it is so hard to pick a winner. Because, again, the battle was initially between just Bond as a character versus Austin Powers. Right. Um, now there is a theory I have heard where in the Bond movies it is all still the same universe um, and yes it is different people playing Bond but it's also a different person being Bond well in the book series Bond is is actually like the spy name right so it's the government it's, name yeah exactly and so it's not just a theory necessarily it's it's almost canon in terms of right. that being how that position was created within m16 007 his code name is bond right. and it so it is different assassins at different times because they have a life expectancy Right. Yeah, there's... Uh, I gotta give the win to Austin Powers, personally. I think the one that won me over with him, specifically, was the Dr. No Still Means No Bar. Because of Dr. the... Dr. No Means No Baby. Because of the rape allegations for Sean, on Sean Connery. Right. And I don't know how that ever turned out. I don't know if he was I, ever. I don't know if he was ever convicted. convicted. I don't think he was convicted because I think you'd have heard him about him going to mm -hmm. jail for it. But I don't know if it was like maybe he paid somebody out to. I have no idea. Be quiet, or maybe it didn't even happen. I, I don't fucking know. I don't keep right. up with Hollywood that much. Me neither. Still a bar though. Um, it it really was one of the best bars. The. But again, Daniel Craig, Bond. A lot of good bars against Austin Powers against Austin specifically. Powers. Yeah, it's is a close one. Yeah, I, I got to give it to Bond. I was way more impressed by a lot more of what he said. I, I will give Austin Powers credit where credit is due. He definitely tried to play the thing where he made fun of himself so that mm -hmm. he took the ammo away from Bond but in the end it went right. towards nothing because Sean Connery's Bond fucked all that up right it's still entertaining I, so I, I we won yeah we won we won as fans yep we got to witness amazement battle wise I still give it to Bond as a whole 
I'm not going to pick which Bond specifically because they're still right. Bond versus Powers, but very entertaining. Nice. I'd, I'd say Bond. Yeah. I want my Pierce Brosnan in there, though. I'm I just really saying. thought that Austin Powers was played beautifully. I mean, that was such a good impression of him. Very, very good. I just felt that, and it is Austin Powers' personality, but the jokey edge to it, other than that rape bar, took a lot of the sting out of his comments toward Bond. Right. So, I don't know. Yeah, Bond is a whole one. Yep, I'll agree with that. That was a good battle. That was fun. (laughs) Thank you to the person that suggested that one. Uh, Anyways. (laughs) Gareth, I think. Right. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it. If you guys liked the video, be sure to slash that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Comment down below. Who did you think won? And would you separate the Bonds and give a specific Bond the winner? Just say Bond as a whole since it was Bond versus Austin Powers. Um, also, check the description below for my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, and Bishop. Those the original links to this video. You'll also find links to the Bar Discord as well as this YouTube page. Please go hop on over there. Show love. Let them know we sent you. Um, anything else, baby? No, not for this one. That is going to do it. We love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Cannot wait to see you to pray people later. <laughs> Bye. Peace.